Today we are going to show you how to set up the QR code P2P cloud-based networking for your Paramount DVRs and NVRs. So to start you're going to go into your start button, go to settings, and then go into network. By default you have your IP, obtain IPv4 and obtain DNS automatically checked off. Now you want to go ahead and leave this to make a setup simple and easy. You can uncheck and manually input your own information if you'd like. Um, if unchecking, we do recommend to use the DNS servers as the Google, uh, preferred being 8.8.8.8 .8 and the alternate being 8.8.4.4. Otherwise, like I said, by default they are checked off and you can leave them as is as long as you are aware that your DHCP is turned on and enabled or supported by your router. Next menu you want to go to is your NAT menu going across the top of the screen and you want to check this off and apply to save. Once you applied it to save, your unit is now on the network. Simply download the Paramount CMS mobile app, and that's for Android or iPhone, and that's Paramount, P-A-R-A-M-O-N-T, CMS, again for both Android and iPhone. Once you open the app, simply go ahead and hit the menu button in the top left-hand corner. Choose server list, hit the plus sign in the top right-hand corner. Scan your device code here on this screen. It'll input all your information into your mobile app, put in your password, which by default is 123456, hit save or play, and you'll now be connected. The other way to connect via the PC is by the QR number and going to autonat.com. So if you simply right-click the mouse twice, you come into, go to the information menu, which is the first menu to the left of the date and time. Under your basic setup, you have your QR scan code again, which you can also scan your mobile app from this code as well. And then below it is your actual QR number. So again, to access the devices from a PC or Mac, you can go to autonat.com, that's A-U-T-O-N-A-T.com, and it requires three fields. The first field being the QR number, beginning with the N here the username and password. Again, default password is 123456 unless changed otherwise. Once you input that information, it'll prompt you to download the plugin. Go ahead, download the plug plugin, refresh the page, allow the plugin, and you are now successfully connected. Uh, with the Paramount DVRs and MVRs, you'll notice all you have to really do is enable the NAT, hit apply, and you're done. So unlike other manufacturers, uh, DDNS setup process, you don't have to go and set up a local area network, um, defining a static LAN IP, define your ports, do the port forwarding in the router, set up your DDNS. There's other companies out there that require you to go to a website, create a login account for the website, add the device to the website, and you're only allowed to have one device to the to each account, then set up your DDNS from there, then log into the DDNS, and then it's a two-step verification. With Paramount, it's all cloud-based. Simply enable the NAT, scan into your phone, you're on. Go to net, autonat.com, put in the QR number, username, password, and you're on. Just a quick trouble, couple of troubleshooting steps. So in case you do scan the app and you don't connect, or you go to autonat.com and it tells you the device is offline, a couple things to look for. Again, if you go into the information menu and across the top you have network status. The first thing you want to look for is the Ethernet port, whether it says it's online or offline. Now this should say online at all times as long as you have a network cable plugged directly into the unit. In this case, I do not have a, a cable plugged in. That's why it's saying offline. But if you do have a cable plugged in and it's nice and secure, it'll tell you online. So if, if it is reading offline, first thing you want to check is just make sure that that cable's in there nice and secure. Second thing you want to check is make sure it's connected to a router or a switch on the other end. Uh, the third thing you want to check is the wiring scheme. Sometimes the wires aren't touching the metal connectors on your RJ clip. All things that can be creating the network cable to not communicate with the DVR or the MVR. Now, if that does say online, the next thing you want to check is your IPv4 DHCP status. Again, if the DHCP is not turned on within the router or not supported, this will say failure. If it does say success, you know you're good to go. Um, those are usually the main two things that will go wrong. 
uh, again, Ethernet port not being seen or your DHCP is just not turned on or supported by the router. And in that case, if it does say failure, you just have to go back to the men uh, start button settings network, TCP IP across the top, uncheck obtain. IP uh, IP address automatically and uncheck obtain DNS automatically and manually input your information in these two fields hit apply once that connection is made then your device should connect I hope this information helps have a great day